Welcome to CNN Politics, the show that gives you the views of the political scene. Hello there, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to CNN Politics. Today's stories include stories about the new cryptopian empire, the new political system of this new empire, and more news about politics. Starting off with some breaking news. <clears throat> Ladies and gentlemen, the results are in for the recently announced Four Nations referendum. Whether Cryptopia should stay in it or leave. People have been, been coming to the voting stations like po- like ducks fl- like ducks in a pond when they see a piece when they see a piece of bread. No one knows why so many people wanted to vote. My guess is, is that they just believe in the Cryptopian political system a bit too much. We have to polls, we have to polls those in right now. Hold on, where are they? Oh, here they are. It turns out that 47% voted to remain. And the remainder voted to leave. So, ladies and gentlemen, the four nations is now the three nations, which is kind of ironic because their latest, well, their leader is a communist state. And whilst we're on this topic of a communist state, the Cryptopian Empire was recently founded later earlier this week. We just didn't have the show to cover it. It is led by President Creep Creepson and Vice President and Vice President Jeffrey Major or Vice no it's actually Vice President Fax Major. <laughs> Apologies there. Yeah, one of those squirrely things was broken. And our final story today. We have some sad political news for those of you who believe in socialist well belief. We have found some news that will make it very sad. It has been revealed, and the pol- and, and the political people, the politicians, and the president have finally decided to leak this. The Caltus Empire, our strongest and. En- our strongest ally has fallen. I believe that was a good enough note to end this episode. We will now end with our national anthem as a memorial to the Countess Empire. Everyone vote for Trump. We will now play our national anthem. We hope to see you next time on CNN Politics.